Alright fellers, welcome back to another review video. As the uh, as the title states, we're talking about the uh, the 5.6 Venture V lights, not the V hollows. And yeah, I'm making a Can you hear the boys in the background? It's because they're playing Super Smash Brothers, so we'll see how that audio translates. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a review video because I feel like I've skated these trucks long enough and I have a good opinion about them. And it is raining right now, and this is what the forecast kind of looks like. We're going with a good old-fashioned review video. Hey, so I've made a review video about Venture Trucks before, but these ones are a whole different animal. And there's two main factors why. The other review video I did for Ventures was for the uh, 5.2, which is the 8 inch, and it was just the standard, standard truck. And there's a few key differences about this. Uh, first of all is the height. So when I was looking around, I saw that uh, everywhere states these V lights as a 53.5. It's not true. The standards are a 53.5. The, the, the V lights have a forged base plate. So they sit 1.5 millimeters lower. So they come in at 52. So now you're kind of flirting with a medium low truck. This is the 825 version of this here truck, and its counterpart of the standard weighs in at 370 grams. This guy right here, same thing, forged base plate, hollow kingpin, V light, comes in at 352 grams. 18.5 grams different, that's, that's very noticeable on trucks. Obviously this one is ground down a little bit, so for the sake of the video let's 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 weigh these up so 352 is what this is supposed to be so let's let's get over here we're at zero so we're at 341 so yeah i've grounded off 11 grams off of this truck so far and i've been skating this truck for seven almost eight months now so that that sounds about right, you know. This is the farthest I've ever gotten a truck down to almost the axle. I'm going to axle these trucks, that is the plan. Recap, these versus a standard Venture are one and a half mils shorter from the base plate to the center of the axle, and they are 18.5 grams lighter per truck. So your setup will be what, 37? 37 grams lighter in total? I don't know what that accounts to to weight, but uh, you can do that math if you choose to. But yeah, there's kind of the first like comparison versus it's a different review, it's a different truck, it's a whole nother, whole nother animal. Let's talk about the reputation of these here Venture trucks. So Venture trucks are kind of, uh, I don't know, people kind of sleep on them. There's, you know, there's always the, the big names, There's, it's a big name, but people kind of sleep on them. But the reputation for Ventures is that they just don't turn that well they're not very responsive and that's just uh simply not true if you haven't tried them give them a try i i heard all that stuff and i thought i wanted a turny truck so i just never even bothered to try them but i did try them and you can try them usually at a pretty low cost um my first set of ventures i think was 36 bucks for the set and that's pretty cheap they do get more expensive as you get the v hollows and the V lights. Yeah, it's simply not true. And I can compare this because I was on Independence forever and they do not turn as good as Indies. But one thing I can say is I set up a rain board the other day and I put some uh, titanium V hollow thunders on there. Those in comparison to me, this is all personal experience. Those thunders turned like crap, even compared to Venture. So it's just simply not true. The turn yeah, they turn when you want them to turn. So you do have to lean into it a little bit harder, but they, they'll turn just as well. You just They'll just turn, like I said, when you want them to turn. Just so in return, it's a very stable truck. It is good for technical tricks. That's why I see a lot of tech guys skate in Ventures because they are stable and they do respond very well the way that you want them to. You just have to put a little more effort into the turn if that makes any sense. Availability can be kind of weird sometimes. Usually Ventures definitely cater to smaller sizes. You will find the eights all day long, 825s all day long. Where it gets a little weird is when you get to 85s and 875s and then also the version you want. So if you want an 875 V hollow or V light, it's 
it's tough to find. On my new setup, I went to 8.5 and I wanted the V lights. And it took me probably six months to find 8.5 V light trucks. I could find the, the standards all day long, but I couldn't find the V lights. So that's kind of a, a downside. If you have a bigger setup, it's gonna be tough to get this truck. You can get the standards, and if you look long enough, you can get the V lights and the V hollows. Uh, for me personally, the V hollows, they have the hollow kingpin and the hollow axle. Not really for me. I think they'd be too light. I like a little bit of heft to my truck, but not too much. So this goes right in the middle. So the next thing we can talk about is the bushings in these guys. And the bushings, the stock bushings, I honestly, um, I haven't skated them. I hear people really love them. They're supposed to be on the slightly harder side, I think like a 92 diameter. Um, I put the black independent hard bushings in them and they work great for me. I'm a bigger guy. They just work. These haven't blown out. They're good bushings. Um, the stock bushings, like I said, people usually leave them in there and they have good things to say. Um, they are made by the same company as Thunder. People love Thunder bushings. It's probably kind of the same. One thing I can say that I think is kind of, that I saw that was kind of new on their website is they have uh, loose trucks thing. It's like, they call it a conversion one. But at the end of the day, it's just a shorter bushing, shorter top bushing. So if you like looser trucks, because ventures can feel like they're just tight all the time, they're not when you get used to them. But yeah, you can get the, the thing with the little kit with the shorter top bushing, and that'll make you have loose feeling trucks, which is kind of neat. They're listening to people. I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of, you know, bushings. You rock whatever bushings you want them. It, it don't matter. These the ventures take a lot of different style of bushings, which is pretty nice. And the, the uh, kingpin clearance, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say it's mid-level. For a 52 millimeter high truck, the Kingpin clearance is pretty good. It's hard to gauge that one. I don't really do yet. I don't do a lot of like, I don't do feeble grinds or smith grinds, so my Kingpin and my nut looks pretty good. But uh, it, it, it's you could, you could clear it. It's not the best and it's definitely not the worst, but you could get by. You start grinding that thing in, you're never gonna notice it. There's, there's better ones and there's worse ones, like I've said. So being that it is a lower truck, there is some drawbacks to that as well. There's there's always positives and negatives. Everything's yin and yang. So wheel bite is a factor. I don't get a ton of wheel bite because said you get used to something, you kind of know what the limits are, you get used to your setup. That being said, I do run 52 millimeter wheels, which go great with, with these. I would go 52. 53 would be fine. It all depends on how you skate and how loose or tight you like your trucks. 50 to 52 pair perfect with a V-Lite, in my opinion. Once again, this is all subjective. This is all my opinion. Um, a cool thing to think about since these are 52, if you put risers on them, risers like 1 8th, 1 8th risers are 3 millimeters. So that'll bring you up to 55 millimeters, which would be the same exact height as a Indy Standard. So you would have that height with a Venture, and you'd be used to the height of an Indy Standard if you're kind of coming from Indies, and they will be lighter. But I've been doing a lot of slappies and things like that, and it's nice being a little bit lower to the ground, a little more stable feeling, a little more confident hitting the curb, which, yeah, slappy skaters don't skate Ventures, so I'm just a big weird guy. I should be skating slappies or aces because they're squirrely and they're surfy. I like this truck, and it, it, I, in my opinion, it's great for slappies, but you don't see a lot of people skating ventures who do a lot of slappies and I've become more of a, I don't like to limit myself to any type of skateboarding, but I've become more of a slappy skateboarder. It's become a big part of my skateboarding because it is so fun, but I still love doing flip tricks and I still love all these other things. So I stay to a smaller, somewhat setup than most people who skate slappies. You can skate any setup and skate slappies and I'm on the lower, smaller setup end of the spectrum on that. If you want to be a little higher, throw some risers on there. Okay, let's talk about another important part of ventures, and this will go for kind of all ventures. They will extend your wheelbase, and what you'll notice the theme with ventures is it kind of, it doesn't limit your setup, it just caters to a certain setup very, very well. Ventures will extend your wheelbase more than any other truck, basically, by damn near a quarter inch from a lot of trucks you're used to. So they work really well with certain kind of boards. And from my experience, they work 
really well with short wheel wheelbase boards, which you'd think, well, couldn't you just get a 14, 2, 5 and throw some minis on, it'll bring you down to 14. But it's a little more involved than that because 14 inch wheelbase boards, a lot of times they can be a little flatter. And these things are so good with a flat deck because it brings your it brings your truck a little farther out and you get a responsive pop. So if you like flat boards, is basically what I'm saying. If you're a flat board guy like me, they will work super, super well, especially flat board, short wheelbase. It's kind of an older, early 2000s, late 90s kind of vibe with that setup. But for me, it feels very responsive because everything's kind of feels lower to the ground, but the, the, the snap is still there. And because your pivot point is farther out, it creates more pop space with a flatter board. So if you like a steep, steep, if you like steep kicks, not saying ventures won't work. From my experience, it's just a little too much. And that's where it's like, it's nice to have options like, oh, I tried different boards. This board's a little steep. I don't like it with ventures. Throw some indies on it, throw some aces on it, and it'll bring your wheelbase in farther and it might feel more comfy. So it's nice to have different trucks for different options, but I've kind of found what I like and it pairs super well with Ventures. So yeah, they go very good with flatter, flatter boards, which Girl, Chocolate, um, Primitive, I hear April's pretty flat. They might feel a little weird with like Santa Cruz and Zero Decks and heavier concave boards with, that are much steeper. But yeah, something about extending that wheelbase out with a flat deck just gives you that pivot point. And it's, yeah, it's all about just how you like your board to feel which is all subjective and it kind of goes into the board madness thing. This has nothing to do with that. This is a review of this truck and I'm just telling you kind of what it works with. Another thing we can talk about is how they grind. I think they grind great. They can be a little more on the, I guess you could say tinny side. They are a little softer. It means technically they won't last as long, but as many like grinds and I do seven months, they still got a lot of life left in them. I probably will retire them when I axle them because that's just kind of the goal. I finally want to axle a truck where other trucks like Indies and even Slappies I hear because they're kind of a clone. Their metal's a lot uh, tougher, so it's not going to grind away as quick. And that has pros and cons just like everything else. These grind away a little bit quicker because the metal is a little bit softer. But one thing that does do is it's going to form grooves a little bit quicker. It's going to make your grinds a little bit more cozy a little bit quicker. So I feel like they glide pretty good. And I have this stupid theory with, <clears throat> if you break in a curve the proper way, which I think I'm gonna do a video about this too, cause I've learned so much about how to break in a curb and my preferred method. I feel like when the metal comes off, it deposits. You're basically trading metal from the truck to the curb and it fills in all those voids and it makes it smooth. It's like you're earning, you're earning the, the the filler into the curve. It becomes smoother the more and more you skate it. And ventures also help that. So that's kind of a weird thing. I don't feel like anybody talks about that that I've seen. And yeah, I'm gonna do a video of how, basically how I like to break in curves now. Pauses that metal into the curb, gets slicker every time, and it's like almost like you're skating curb on, or truck on truck on the curb. If that makes any sense, it might not. If it does, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But video coming soon about that, if anybody's interested in that. Shortly go into the pinch. These things pinch freaking great. I learned crooked grinds a few months ago and I just can't stop doing them. I feel so locked in with these trucks. I honestly don't know why. I think maybe it's just because it's close to the nose. So where your pressure is, it just wants to push it down and it just they just work. And that's the pinchiest trick that I do is, is crooks but they've just gotten cozier and cozier, part of the groove. They pinch awesome. And I think that's why a lot of uh, tech guys skate them and they do a lot of technical ledge tricks and things like manuals. And the yeah, the pivot point for a manual is great on these trucks and I'd, it's hard to explain until you skate them. A lot of this stuff with skating is hard to explain. You just gotta try them, you just gotta try them. And that's why there's you know notable skaters like Yuto Horigomi. Tory Pudwell and Paul Rodriguez.
Skate Ventures. And side note about P-Rod, and this may this is rumors, may or may not be true. But it was word on the streets is that when he used to skate for Royal Trucks, he actually was still skating ventures and he would put a Royal sticker on it. And I haven't really found any footage to support that, but it's believable. He's been skating ventures forever. So that's kind of cool. It also says something about how they are about their trucks. And if you know anything about those skaters, especially Tori and P-Rod, high level flip in, flip out ledge type stuff. And they skate ventures. Just saying, if you haven't tried them, you should give them a try. Final thoughts. Ventures, I'm not switching. I'm not switching. I got a brand new set that I will be skating that are 8.5s of this exact same truck set up the exact same way. They're just a, a little bit wider. So if you guys have any questions, because I rambled on because I'm passionate about these trucks. So it's kind of, a, it got to be a little bit of rambly of a video. But yeah, if you have any questions about Ventures, let me know. I will gladly answer them. And now, you've heard them in the background the whole time. I gotta go kick their butts on Super Smash Bros. And I will see you on the next one.